welcome to learn it now we'll take the topic 2 of class 9th science biology the name of the unit is the fundamental unit of life the first topic in this is basically the structure of cell we have already learned about what is cell what is the function of cell what are different types of cell unicellular structures and multicellular structures different kind of animal cells and plant cells eukaryotic and prokaryotic now we'll continue with the next thing which is known as the structure of the cell now basically the cell is generally composed of three basic components it is the first which is the outermost layering which is known as cell wall and cell membrane in different different plants and animals the cell wall and cell membrane is denoted like in plant there is cell wall and in animal cells or organisms is having cell membranes the second is the nucleus which is the dark center part which contains many chromosome for many organisms and plants is known as nucleus and the last thing is the cytoplasm cytoplasm is generally the liquid of the cell which contains all the organelle in the upcoming video we'll be discussing about that cell organelles only now we'll move on to the first topic of the structure of cell which is cell membrane or plasma membrane it is one of the common thing in a cell basically plasma membrane is the covering of the cell that separates the content of the cell which means the material which is inside the cell it covers all these material from the external environment all the material which is outside it so it keeps safe all the things which is present in the cell it is also called the living part of the cell and is present in cells of different kind of organism and plants like plant animal and microorganisms it is basically very thin delicate elastic and selectively permeable now what do you mean by selectively permeable it means it let some of the molecules pass from one portion to the another portion the next thing is it is basically composed of two things lipids and proteins now what is lipid and what is protein is you can see a structure or the diagram on my right lower section in which there is two layers one is made up of lipid and in between there is protein now what does the protein does is it helps in the entry and exit of some of the molecules it will help some of the molecules to enter into the cell and to exit the cell now what is basically the function of this cell membrane and plasma membrane it means the basic function which a door in our house is that is the main function of this cell membrane only it helps the organism or the cell to to pass from the cell inside or outside the cell it is also called selectively permeable because it allows the flow of limited substance means less substance or limited number of things inside and outside of the cell let us take an example of our house we are having house in which there is a door in that door only the entry of the known person is allowed because due to this kind only entry and exit for the known person is there I hope the cell membrane or plasma membrane is clear. The second point is basically the cell wall. Now cell wall is just non-living, very thick and very made up of cellulose. It is basically made up of cellulose. All the cell wall is made up of cellulose. It is present in eukaryotic plant cells and in prokaryotic cells. This cell wall is a speciality of only the plant cells. Now in this picture which is on the right side you can see the white lining around this structure which is also shown with an arrow and written there cell wall which allows the entry and exit or freely moving of particles from inside or outside and it's made up of cellulose now what is the functions of it it basically determine the shape and rigidity now what is shape is which kind of shape a cell will be it if it is a square circular elongated oval shape it is determined by this it is also protects the plasma membrane plasma membrane is the next layer of cell wall in plant cells it also prevent desiccation or dryness in cell desiccation means nothing can enter it and it will not let any of the water particles to move out of the cell or dry 
the last point will be it helps in the transport of various substance in and out of the cells which means some molecules can get in and some molecules can get out of a cell if required this is the basic function of the cell wall the next important topic is the nucleus now in this structure it is basically a structure of the nucleus in which outer is known as nuclear envelope which is blue in shape and which is has the material which is known as chromat chromatin and inside it it is a purple shaped circular structure which is known as nucleolus now what does the nucleus does it is basically dense and spherical means circular organelle now it is bounded basically by two membrane nuclear envelope and nuclear envelope contains pores known as nuclear pores which you can see in the structure the next is the fluid which present inside the nucleus is called nucleoplasma like in cell plant cell it is known as cytoplasm if it is in nucleus all the liquid will known as nucleoplasm now nucleolus nucleus contains chromosomes and chromosome contains gene which are the center of the genetic information a cell contains all the genetic information of a organism of which that cell is so that information has been inside the cell inside the cell there is nucleus and in that nucleus there will be chromosome in that chromosome there will be genes and in that genes there will be genetic information in the form of adenosine guanine thymine cytosine etc which is known as adgc which is in sequence or in a particular pattern which you will study in further classes when you head to the 11th or 12th class and pursue biology now what is the main functions is the first point is nucleus controls all the metabolic activity of the cell basically what a brain does in our body the same thing a nucleus does in a cell it is basically controls all the activity of the cell it also regulate the cell cycle when cell will do what is regulated by the nucleus and nucleus is also called as storehouse of the genes because nucleus only contains the genetic material the genes that's why it is called as storehouse it also helps in the transmission of hereditary traits from parent to offspring which means some of the similarities which we get from our parents is basically given by the nucleus the next point is cytoplasm and as you can see there is a structure blue color shaped and a purple color all the blue color is cell wall or we can say that plasma membrane all the blue color material inside that round shape is organelles like mitochondria golgi apparatus etc in between there is white color which is basically nucleus now the purple color basically consists of cytoplasm cytoplasm means liquid a jelly like viscous color less semi fluid substance that occurs between the plasma membrane and the nuclear envelope it helps in distinguishing the different molecules the different organelles and plasma membrane and with the nucleus it helps in distinguishing the aqueous ground substance of cytoplasm or the material by which cytoplasm is made is basically known as cytosol now what is cytosol is it contains all variety of cell organelles which we will be studying in the next video about the cell organelles has been in these small this watery paste which is jelly like other insoluble waste products and storage products are also present like the starch glycogen lipid etc the basic function of cytoplasm is it acts as the vital chemical like amino acid protein sugar vitamins etc it provides all these things and in the next point it is the site for certain metabolic reaction like when we do photosynthesis a step of photosynthesis which is known as glycolysis happens in this site it also help in the synthesis of fatty acid or fats and nucleotides these nucleotide will help in the formation of genetic substance now we are moving on to the last topic of the chapter we will not discuss it further but will give a glimpse of what will be 
in our next video it's about the cell organelles now let me give you a glimpse of the cell organelles it is inside the cell there are different parts performing different activities to keep a cell alive and functionable so that cell can function and be alive these part are called cell organelles there are different kinds of cell organelles like golgi apparatus endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes mitochondria centrosome and centrioles plastids in plants lysosomes and vacuoles that's it for today's video i hope you have understood the topics very well but for more understanding i, I urge all of you to repeat this video again for clearer understanding if you like the video and its content give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment your name in the comment section if you are unable to understand or is struggling in any of the topic please write the topic in the comment section i'll sure surely try to get to you soon so for more of such videos stay tuned to the channel stay safe stay healthy and don't forget to learn it